These are two duplexes on one lot in Georgia. I'm looking to purchase these properties, however, I don't want to get a loan and I don't want to use any of my own money, so how am I going to go about doing this? Well, actually, it's quite counterintuitive. I'm actually going to offer more than what it's listed for, even though the market has shifted and most definitely everybody else who's calling is probably offering 100 or more less than what they have it listed for. So the thinking here is, well, if I can pay for a property like we pay for a car at a dealership over a period of time, I can pay more for the property and enter at a lower price. Just like when you guys go to the dealership and you want to buy a 2019 Challenger, you say, here, I'd like to put down $500 on this Challenger, and the salesman says, perfect, great, no problem, and they give you an interest rate, and then they charge you three times what the property is worth. It's very similar to that in that I'm going to offer $1.3 million for a property listed at 1.25, and I'm only going to ask to put down 10%. And if they say, no, I am not open to you putting down 10%, I'm going to up that number to $1.35 million because I'm going to pay for that over a period of time. And unlike cars, property values go up over time. So it's okay for me to pay more over time if I can get in with a very small entry fee, less than what a lender would require us to put down, which is typically between 20 and 30%. So putting down 10%, no matter what price you're at, is an excellent deal. Now I'm going to structure the terms around my price and I'm going to present it to the agent. Watch this. Step one, Google Zillow Rental Manager or Zillow Rent Estimator. Put in your property address and email and it will give you approximately what the property can make per month. Now this is actually a little bit misleading because there are two duplexes on one lot, meaning there are four rentable units. We can assume that this is what one of the duplexes makes per month. So if we multiply this by two, we can get $4,600 as a pretty good estimate for what the duplex will bring in. To confirm that, we can scroll down and see some active and inactive rentals here. The gray properties right here are active rentals where rent is being paid. The purple is rent that is being asked. Once I pull up PropStream, I can see that they're paying approximately $1,900 per month for the property. After their mortgage payment, the property nets about $2,700 per month. So here are our final numbers. We are going to offer $1.325 million for the property with $125K down, $2,500 per month to the seller, and that means that we are buying upwards of $2,000 per month in cash flow for $125K.